everybody. How are you today? I'm excited. I'm excited about Fun Fold February. Hey, Kay. Um, I was sitting at my desk at my other job, and I thought, you know, I need to come up with something to do. Just something, you know, different. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever seen a Fun Fold February, but let's do it. We're going to do it. And I hope y'all join me. So we're going to make, now, let me, let me caveat the fun fold February by saying none of these fun folds are going to be, I mean, they're all just different, right? Just because it's a fun fold doesn't mean it has to be hard. Trust me, I don't do hard things. So this is the design that we're going to do today. So this is one of the cards that we made in my um, retreat that we had last Saturday. So it's just the ice cream cones and it says thank you with sprinkles on top. So this is the card, this is the style we're going to make, but it's not going to look anything like this. And I'm going to show you from beginning to end how to do it. Like I don't have any of this paper cut at all. So you get to see the whole shoot and match. Hey, Martha Keene. How are you, friend? Oh, my gosh. I need to see you, Martha. I need to hug your neck. All right. So, we're going to make... you. We're going to use the Hearts and Kisses stamp set. We're going to make a Valentine, okay? So, that's the stamp set we're going to use with the punch. So, um, I'm going to start with real red cardstock, Okay. And I am going to cut it at four and a quarter. Easy peasy, four and a quarter. Then I am going to cut um, an inch and three quarters off of this piece. Inch and three quarters, okay? Now I'm going to score this piece this piece is extra. You can make two Valentines out of one sheet. Um, I'm going to score this big sheet at one and seven eighths. One and seven eighths on that end. And then I'm going to flip it. Hello from Nebraska. Uh, well, hello. To you in Australia. Nice to have you join us. So that's scored at one and seven eighths on each end. Okay. I like things that are easy. I like things that are easy. Keep the measurements simple. And I'm sorry I don't have metric measurements because I'm an American and we don't think like that. You know? I know you guys know. We just don't. Okay, so I'm just scoring both of those, right? So there you go. That's the way this is going to go right here, okay? So now let's cut a couple pieces of DSP. I think I want this DSP on the bottom. I'm hoping that it's wide enough. Otherwise, we'll just have to cut it the other direction. Is it four? It's not quite four. We'll do it this way. So we're going to cut two pieces at four and then one and five eighths. So there's gonna be two pieces that are four by one and five eighths. Um, so you from Nebraska, who are, what, Mary, can you come and get your crazy weather? Because I think it's lost in Georgia. Um, it is cold, cold and windy. And we don't like that here in Georgia. You can have it back. Um, and then this one last piece is going to be cut um, four, and I want the stripes to go up and down, so I'm going to cut it at four by one and a half. One and a half. Okay. So, this piece is going to go here. These pieces are going to go here, and then a white piece is going to go in there. Okay, we're good. 
that's how we're going to do this today. <laughs> Mary, if you could just please come get it. It's just lost. It needs to go home. I'm hoping that it departs us quickly. So I'm just going to put some of this together with our stamp and seal. I love stamp and seal. Love it. I hope that you guys love it too. I like to put things together knowing that they're not going to come apart. And I know you guys know what I mean. I know you guys have some cards in your stash that when you pull it out, like, it falls apart. I know you guys got that. This stamp and seal will not come apart. I think it's together for good when we put it together. So this paper is the True Love, is that what it's called? The True Love DSP, part of the part of the same suite that has this stamp set in it. We're going to attach that right up here at the top. 15 inches of snow, Mary. Oh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. We we won't be doing that. Hey, Debbie Collins. I don't uh not at all. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right on here. Right like that. Okay, so let's do some stamping. That's our basic card. Okay, I will put all of the measurements. Hey, Christy. I'll put all of the measurements in the um, description of the video so you can make one of these all by yourself. And you can use any style, any paper, any whatever you want. Um, I am going to stamp some lips and then I'm going to punch them out I'm using real red ink I just love these lips I just I think they're amazing <laughs> I, I don't know who look at that stamp I mean I don't know and I wish I could wear lipstick like that I'll need that again in a second. Let's see if I can leave it open and not stick my hand in it. And I think three of these will be enough. Punch. You know, I love a punch. I love a punch. Don't have to get any of the, the cut and emboss machine out. There's no dies. You're just done. Punk. Just done. Love it. Love a punch. Let's see what that looks like. Because, you know, I have no idea. I hadn't done this. Just come up with this in a minute. I think that'll be cute. Um, let's see, what else am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to glue these down. We're going to glue them down. We're going to we're going to glue them up. I got some uh I got some dimensionals here. We'll use dimensionals. Martha, you're going to have to come to one of my classes, lady, so I can see you. I'm having a class on the 13th. Uh, Deborah will be here, and Carolyn, you can come see all your friends. All right, so there's our three sets of lips just on there, any which way. Now, on here... I'm going to lay this in here to eyeball where I want my stamp, okay? Let's see how I want it. I, I guess it doesn't matter. So you're not going to see this stamp much. It's just a background, and I'm using Petal Pink. It's just a really light kind of a hint, okay? just right there and then I'm gonna put happy Galentine's Day and I'm hoping that it fits oh yeah it'll fit I think I'm gonna stamp that just like that with that so that we will be sure we get it where we can see it happy Galentine's Day all right let's glue this down okay now I'm gonna close the ink before I put my hands in it Yeah, Martha, I'd love to see you. It's at my house. So come on over to my house. 
and we'll make some cards. Deborah will be excited to see you. Everybody else is invited too. If anybody lives in Central Georgia, come on over. Card class, 13th of uh, February. Martha, you know what you can order tomorrow. You can order the, the dies that go with the Hey Chick stamp. They come out tomorrow. Happy Valentine's Day. Now, here's what I don't know. I don't know if we want real red rhinestones or if we want these black dots or if I just want some of each. I don't know. I think I want the real red now that I look at it. I had it in my head, but I wasn't sure. Real red? Maybe one of each? You know, I gotta have some bling. Everybody's gonna have some bling. Okay, so fun fold February. What does that look like? Somebody help me. Black? Or just more? I think just more red. I think we're just gonna use more red. I like the red. How about that? Happy Valentine's Day. Yep, I agree, Mary. Real red. So there you go. That's our first fun fold for Fun Fold Friday. Or fun Fold February, not Fun Fold Friday. Oh, but Fun Fold Friday. Now there's a good. We can do Fun Fold Friday when February's over. How about that? We're just always coming up with good ideas. So here, so where's my, here's, oh, you know what else we could do? Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Let's put a bow. Can I put a bow? We'll see what it looks like after I get the bow made. Maybe we won't want it at all. This black and white um, twine is from the Pampered Pet Suite. Oh, we have the real red ones, too. Maybe we'll just have to make more than one. Yeah, we can just put that down there. Wait, let's do a real red one and see which one we like better. All my ribbon is behind the camera. <laughs> it just hangs there so I can see it. Because if I don't see it, I won't use it. Come back. Oh, I think maybe the real red is going to win again. Real red or black and white? What do you think? Maybe the real red really doesn't match. Maybe we'll go with black and white. Maybe that's cherry cobbler. Okay, it must be cherry cobbler. We'll put the put the black and white one on there. Could we put it under here? Nope. We'll put it right on the front of the card with a glue dot. Oh, you like You guys like the red? All right, let's look at it again because I don't know that it really matches. Let's look again. Is it close enough? See, because it's real red and cherry cobbler, I think. What do you think? I think the, the the black and white for sure will match. I'll do another one later, and I'll do it with the cherry cobbler, and then that ribbon will be cute. I'll leave that bow tied for next time. Okay, I'm just rolling up that glue dot so I can put this on here and not have a sticky card. Black and white. All right, there we go. So there we go. Oh, look, now it's even cuter. Look. Awesome. 
All right, so that's card number one. I don't know how many cards we'll make during Fun Fold February. I will attempt. Is it a leap year? I will attempt to do 28, but we will. We shall see. So there we go. And uh, where was my prototype? Oh, well, it's right here underneath my hand. I couldn't see it. So there's my prototype. So same card, different papers. Okay. So thanks for hanging out with me today. And fun fold February. Tell your friends. Share my video. That'd be awesome. Uh, look me up on YouTube. Look me up on Pinterest. And don't forget, tomorrow we can order the Hey Chick stamp set and dies. And the dies that go with Hey Birthday Chick. So that's awesome. I'm looking forward to that. If you need somebody to order from, you can order from me. Um, just send me a message or, um, the link will be in the description of the video if you want to order with me. Okay. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And I shall see you guys tomorrow.